Welcome back. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna upgrade the fleet. We need a much much better ship. So we're going to design something that is hopefully a bit of a killing machine. And I'm going to take a name that was suggested by one of you guys. The Vulture. Let's design the Vulture. Let's just get rid of this. And we're going to start completely from scratch. So how are we going to design this thing? I, I do have a couple of ideas. What I was originally thinking of doing was putting together a ship which is kind of like a catamaran so you have like one one big piece over here one big piece over here and then an armored and shielded core in the center now i think it may suck but I, but i feel like giving it a try kind of just to see like how it would work so um so how are we gonna do now we would want a couple of shields in here to shield the core and probably some additional armor as well let's put a shield on that side and a shield on that side the core is still vulnerable to attacks from this direction still fairly vulnerable from attacks to this direction so we'll beef up the uh, the armor on here a little bit but it has got a couple of shields on it um, so kind of depends what we come up with in our two kind of pods I don't know we'll see we'll see how the hell are we gonna design this uh, we want big generators because we've got a Got a lot of power to produce. So I'm thinking let's put a put one of those in. Now what how much P have we got? We're up to 1800. We need to upgrade. So let's uh, how much P can we add to this? We can go up to 2200. The, the problem is that these rail guns, are, as you can see, are a different size to like these things. This is what makes the shipbuilding interesting because you're you're always kind of working around that. Yes, I am still going to be using the um, the flat cannons quite a lot. We'll pop. So we've got flat cannon and then two defense cannons. The plasma cannons will fit in fairly nicely in front of here. So we'll have we'll have three plasma cannons, then we'll have three auto cannons in front of those. Then we'll have three flat cannons in front of those, and then we'll now can I copy yeah I can. I can copy those two. And then we'll have some defense cannons in front of those. I, th I think we're already over budget, so we're going to have to slim down on at least some of the weapons. I was thinking of doing like a kind of a, a Battlestar Galactica kind of thing, but I, and then that made me think, like, should I do a series, uh, like just a series of like one-off builds where I build things like the Battlestar Galactica or like the Enterprise or like, and I mean as big ships though, like as 8,000p ships, like do big versions of those and then fight them and see see how they do whether they suck or not. So this is the, the core is very well shielded and very well um, armored or at all fairly well armored So 
So now it's just a case of putting thrusters like everywhere. Right, we are we are we're like way over P. We're going to need to um, drop the rail guns for now. We can pop those back in. I'm thinking we're going to have to drop the two central shield projectors for now. We're still covered, and all four of those shields uh, are covering the the core, which that works really really well. That actually, that actually works really, really well. I'm actually thinking of maybe moving the core back one. Yeah, kind of liking that, kind of liking that. Uh, right, that makes us legal. In fact, we could have a little bit more. So let's duplicate. Uh, would we be able to duplicate those? I think we probably would. Yeah, that gets us up to 2204. So the question is, like, what, like, how does this ship handle? Like, will it fly? We'll see. So let's save that. Right. Now this is all going to reassemble. So at least it builds pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 kind of not too bad. It it does lack thrust. It needs more thrust, but we can uh, we can add more to it once we kind of build up our resources a bit. Um, weapons. We got a guy down here. I wonder if this guy. Will be interested in a bit of a fight yeah until he runs away and then you can't catch him so we kind of need well oh, oh here we go boom and bye bye all right uh, we um, we need to be able to gather more resources so I'm gonna have to put some containers on this yeah so now hopefully I can go and pick up some of this uh, there we go Right, so we've got a thousand to spend. Now, where's um, where's a base? Where's a base nearby where we can go and dump these resources? Because the sooner we can upgrade, the better. Oh, oh, it's one of our one of our ships. Yeah, let's dump those resources over there. We'll try and kill this guy. Look how slow we are at turning. Our turning is just like pathetic. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can we take him? Yay, we got him. <laughs> All that to kill one tiny little ship. But we'll drop these resources off. How, how much do we need to uh, to improve our P? So let's go to the uh, upgrade. Um, we need 1,100. So uh, we actually don't need that much. Oh, and here we go. This will do. This will give us some more C for activating this. There we go, 500 C for that. So we're up to 1400, so we can do an upgrade. Yes, let's do it. So upgrade, we'll take, uh, that's another 200 P, which is, that's like a pretty big jump. Okay, I wonder how she handles now. We've added a fair old amount of thrust to it. Let's find out. Oh, not enough piece to build the ship. What are we, what, how much are we over? Uh, let's take, let's lose a couple of those. Uh, oh, we're one P over, seriously? You know what, let's lose that one and that one. There we go, now we're legal, okay. Let's see 
how she behaves now. She's still, she's still a little bit heavy, but she's a hell of a lot better than she was. Boom. And she's certainly, uh, certainly okay for weaponry. And she should be okay for like shields and stuff like that. Really, you know, it has the maneuverability. Maneuverability is a hell of a lot better. It's something that we can uh, we can still work on. Now she she still needs some um, to get the additional weaponry because for a for a ship this size with, with all that shielding, she still needs to be able to pack a punch. And those rail guns are going to be kind of important. And we can we can look at getting some um, like bigger plasma cannons and stuff like that. Ultimately, yeah, firepower's not too bad now. We do need the rest of the firepower. Oh, we've got some big ships now. But these reds are so easy. I mean, look, we're eating these guys. Okay. That's a bit too much. Let's back off a little bit. But our shields held up, which was good. Let's kill that guy. Now we're a bit out of balance because we're missing one set of thrusters, but but we survived. That was the main thing. We got a fair amount of resources out of that as well. So we'll pick up a bit more. Oh, oh, let's kill these guys. Oh, these red guys are still a bit angry because I blew up their big ship. Yeah, well, tough. Boom, bye bye. Right, so let's uh, let's go. Where's that station? This is definitely going a lot better. I kind of like this ship. Oh, another big ship! No, oh, took him, and another one. Oh, <laughs> all righty. Uh, we need to drop up some of these uh, resources because we can't store You know what? Rather than leave them lying around for somebody else to pick up, we'll just um, add another container for, net for now. So there we go. Grab those. All right. Now we can mosey off. Ooh, come on, kill these guys. These are such easy pickings, the red faction. Boom, bye, bye. Let's get this guy as well. Oh, if I can get past, past these asteroids. Oh, another big ship. Oh, chewed him up. Oh, come on, come on. Take him down. And him. Oh, yeah. Actually, this is not going too badly. They are bringing out some big ships, though. Oh, he's loving this. This is not going badly. <laughs> Let's take you. Let's make sure we take all of these little ships out before we uh, focus on those big guys. And our point defense is awesome against all of these drones that they're sending out. Oh, and I pushed it too far. Damn it. Ah, okay, well. And that, look at look how far away we're spawning. Oh, man. Okay, we just spawned like halfway across the galaxy. Jeez. Okay, well, that was that was kind of my own fault. This is the thing though. You get carried away with this. It's awesome. But really, it's about just getting back over to where we were, I think. Because it was a pretty nice area over there. The red faction are a pretty easy faction to farm. As long as you're not like a complete idiot like I was back in, like the, before. So let's get back over there and see what we can do. So got some more of these guys. Yeah, 100, 150 resources. Another hundred for that guy. 
It is horrible flying around in here, though. Now, as long as we are relatively sensible, we should be okay. I'm trying to keep an eye on my energy reserves to see whether, like, when I'm taking fire, No, our energy's not going down. Okay, let's, uh, let's focus on killing some of these ships now. So let's go back in here. Chew you up, and then your friend. <laughs> See, as long as you can get in close, those flat cannons really chew up enemy ships. But we just need to add some of those uh, more powerful and more long-range weapons uh, to kind of complement the whole design. I may even stick some rockets on as well. Oh, we're getting some help. We're getting some help from one of our other ships. Yeah, I could go into command mode and recruit him in actual fact if I wanted to. But yeah, he seems to be doing okay. So let's let's leave him as he is. We've got a station over here. Let's go and drop off some resources because we've got like 2k of resources that we can drop off. Oh, 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 yeah, got him. Oh, another red over here. You're not going to last long. Oh, another 300 and a couple more. Boom, boom. Alrighty, now where the hell's this um, station? Should be just up here. Where? Oh, there it is. Bye bye. We'll activate this. That gives us some more C. We'll drop off all of that. Right, we've got another 2,000 C to spend, which is pretty awesome. I think we're going to kind of focus on this area for now and uh, see if we can't kind of build up this area as like a bit of a stronghold because we don't really have a stronghold and that's kind of not a good thing. Okay, we've got 2,500 C to spend. Let's um, let's bump up the weapons a little bit. So let's go to modify ship. Let's upgrade. Let's get what was it I was going to get? I can't even remember now. Um, oh no, I was just going. I was just going to upgrade the ship, wasn't I? Yeah, I think I was. We need another thirteen hundred for another upgrade. But we've got another couple of hundred. What can we add? Like we could add the rail guns. Should we add the rail guns at this point? I think we should probably add the rail guns at this point. Let's put them there and there. And I think we've got enough that we can add those and those. Cool, awesome. Now we're okay for power, so I don't need to add in those extra uh, those extra generators yet until we add in the extra shield projectors which I am going to do at some point well we got like 50 spare but I think we'll probably leave it at that uh, am I going to carry these containers around I think I probably am while I'm while I'm just farming for the moment okay so we're building up those extra weapons Where's, where are our rail guns there's our rail guns right so let's see there's our rail guns firing and you can see they go right out to here range wise so <laughs> now let's go do hopefully a bit more damage oh ho, 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 ho. 2000 resources for taking that baby down the thing is like even though you've you've added these long range weapons you've got to hit with them that's the tricky part cuz they will dodge those long range, long range weapons. But I don't think this guy's gonna. Oh, 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 oh. This is why it's just like better to just like get in there and pop them. But having the long range weapons means that they. they the, the AI behaves di differently because they can't necessarily outrange you. So they don't try to, to do that so much. Oh, yeah, this is a bit better. Right, what are we up to? We've got like two and a half thousand resources. Got to drop those off. And that's going to spawn more ships. Oh, let's kill this guy. Oh, and there's another bunch of little red ships around here. Let's take these guys out. 
Oh, and you. Oh, come back. Come back, you little pig. These little ones are so fast. There we go. Right, drop off all those resources. Now, that means that this guy can spawn a load of ships. That's a, a, another bunch of credits for us to go spend. Bye-bye. Oh, these guys are having a bit of a space battle to join in. Boom. 172 for that guy. Well, we're growing. And that's the important thing, because it's all about just growing and becoming a bigger fish. And ultimately, becoming the biggest fish in the pond. <laughs>